But let's check it out. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. What he do? He gonna tell you about all the stealth snitching. I think that's the intro. Let's see if I'm right. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. Who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. I was close. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board-certified criminal defense lawyer. In fact, I'm in trial right now, so it's the end of the day. So we thought we'd give a little bit of a shout-out to our content genius, Michael Rivers, because he's going on a film expedition to the Sundance Film Festival. So uh, before he goes, we got to put a few in the can. Before we get to reacting to what we're reacting today, and today we're reacting to Justin Roiland and some news going on. What up, lady? This episode is brought to you by eSign.com. That's eSign.com. eSign.com is an excellent way. Let's say you're working for, that's what you need to do. So now, today we're reacting to Justin Roiland. Justin Roiland is uh, a big part of uh, Rick and Morty, and it's a popular cartoon. Okay, and Adult Swim is the entity that owns it, and they've ended their association with Justin Roiland. Why did they do that? Well, he's got some domestic assault charges, and he's got some disturbing messages with a 16-year-old girl. Now, here's the thing, gentlemen. I'm going to speak to the gentlemen primarily here. Putting your hands on anybody, and I've preached this, preached this, preached this, it has implications for you, especially if you're in a high profile role, like Mr. Roiland. And we're gonna get to a video and react to a video of him in a minute. If you got some predilections, you gotta check those predilections before they check you. Facts! And I'm saying that because, you know, I do care about my guys. I care about everybody out there. Facts! Right? When, when you get somebody <laughs> who's in a domestic violence situation and they're the abuser, they're almost the most difficult people to deal with. They're very, very, very difficult to deal with. But there's certain ramifications to a domestic uh, assault charge that really implicate a lot of other rights that you have. For example, you get a domestic assault charge, you can't own a firearm in most states and federally. If you get a domestic assault charge, very difficult to get a, a job or, or housing. People don't realize the widespread implications of getting a domestic abuse charge on your record. Let's say I am, you know, in my 30s, and I decide, oh, I think I'd like to date somebody in their teens. Not a good idea. Let's listen to this conversation that Mr. Roiland had. Crazy, like when we were fucking, two, 100 years ago, uh -huh. it was little 13-year-old girls, if they were built like a woman, they were getting married and having kids. Uh -huh. Really? Well, that was a hundred years ago before, you know, anybody had any idea that where well, you could do shit on your farm and nobody's going to report it or even look at it. They could beat the shit out of anybody on your on your ranch and nobody cared, you know, or people cared, but no one's going to report it. We live in a different era. And now we're going to be all precious about it. I keep using the word. Now we're going to be he's talking about 13 year old girls just today that's the word of the week which is a movie about a child molester precious <laughs> right Andrew down syndrome baby yeah exactly so anyways uh i'm not a pedophile though i do I'm follow the law generally speaking when you have to profess you're not something you probably are got something in there so if you have to say i'm not a pedophile right he's like right he's like I'm, I'm i'm not a pedo but uh you know uh you know 13 and 14 year old girls you know if this was a hundred years ago, I'd totally be all over that. You know what I'm saying? But now it's kind of illegal. But you know, I only, I, I'm I'm only not all over the I'm only not all over them because we live in modern times. I mean, that's basically what he said. But that wasn't even like again like the private conversation. Exactly. Like what a terrible disclaimer. Like you say that. And by the way, I'm not. You know. But um. But yeah, no, nah, that again, and that isn't even the conversations that he had. Uh, you know, the domestic abuse aside, but uh. The shit that he was sending to this 16-year-old girl was something. Look, I'm not a pedophile. Uh -huh. I wait till they're 18 if, 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 if... I wait till they're 18. What the fuck? Who, who says shit like this? Right. If I'm ever so... I wait till they're 18. I, I, I keep a close eye on them. You know, uh, up until then, I, I, I scout. You know what I go to? I go to junior basketball, junior high school basketball games. I scout the crowd. I scout the state. Like, I mean, that's... Ba and then, then I wait till they're 18, and then I pounce. Like, I mean... It, th that's basically what this dude just said. You know, it's like I, I wait till they're 18. And I'll say this I, I, I'll be 31 years old tomorrow, right? 
And like, I generally, you know, I, I like young, younger women like any other man, but you know, below like 23 is and like, I, I'm only 30, but below that is, I mean, just, I mean, yeah, sure. An 18 year old woman is, you know, legal, but you know, the, the maturity difference, the life experience difference, you know, women who are 18, 19, 20, 21 are fucking broke. Like, not like, you know, there's a difference between like, oh, I, I you know, I'm paying my bills and I, I'm struggling to make ends meet, but I work and I have a resume and I have experience and, oh, I'm 19 and I haven't fucking done anything in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, why the hell? You know, so even at that, it's like, just, no, like they're just women at, uh, again, like beneath like 24, 23, it's like, eh, like what, what, what are we, what are we doing? And again, you know, it's legal, but this guy, he took it a step beyond that. Cause like, if there's an older woman, I mean, an older man, and he's dating like a, a 19, 20 year old or even 18, I mean, you might be like, oh, that's kind of weird, but it's legal. But he's like, I wait until they're 18. And that kind of implies that, that implies quite a bit. Like this dude's a fucking creep. The lucky as to have the, if I'm ever so lucky as to what, as to, you know, right, right, uh, you know, there's a lot of different dynamics that go into relationships, right? There's a power differential uh, when you have like, like Monica Lewinsky and Bill Clinton, for example. She's 21 years old. She's an intern and he's the president of the United States, you know, and there is that that tendency to you just have a vast power differential where you could abuse somebody and abuse your position of trust. And that's really what it is, is a position of trust. If I'm ever so lucky as to, I mean, that, that is the, one of the creepiest things I've heard in a long time. It's like, I want them just barely legal. Yeah, you know, right. here's the thing. You can only screw so much. You eventually have to talk to the woman, right? And hopefully you're not just in this just because there's got to be more to it. There just has to be more to it. That's why people who are who are domestic abusers, they sort of look at, at at things that they're entitled to. You know, you're not listening, so I have to beat you, and then you'll love me more. Ridiculous, right? Of course it is. So is so are statements like this. So when you and when you have a high profile position like Mr. Royland, and you got a, and you got a very popular show. You have to be ultra aware, ultra aware of who you are in the community, how you're perceived, and act accordingly. He's texting a 16-year-old. I have school tomorrow. I have school tomorrow. Uh, you should just run away from home and go into a sex slavery, you fucking stupid bitch. You wish. Okay, so he's texting someone, and they, I have school tomorrow. I haven't heard anybody say that in a quite some time because I'm an adult. And I mean, how old is uh this dude's like in his mid uh Justin Roiland? Well, let's look it up actually. I think he's like mid to late 40s or some shit like that. You know, let, let, let's look this up exactly. How many years should it have been? Okay. How many years has should it have been since he last heard someone say that? Okay, he's 42. All right. So He's been out of high school for quite some time. I ain't heard no more. I have school. People in college don't say that. You know what I'm saying? People, motherfuckers in college. Oh, I have school tomorrow. I'm going to go and I'm going to be in one building all day long. And if I leave, I'll get in trouble for truancy. Like, bro, you're talking to little kids. And, 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 then, and then what did he say? He said, you should run away and go work for a sex cam website, you stupid bitch. Hold on, let's rewind that. I think that's what he said. School tomorrow. I have school tomorrow. Uh, you should just run away from home and go into a sex slavery, you fucking stupid bitch. What? Like, like that's not even like normal, like creep, creep shit. You know, like if this dude was in, what's poppin', Joey? Um, but you know, again, like Justin Roiland, like this, the stuff that he said to her, it's not even like normal, like creep stuff. Like he's, it's not even like he's trying to set up a date or trying to get like, again, obviously that would be horrible, but it's again, it's like, what, what is he thinking? Like who the fuck talks to people like this?
You should, and he put it in all caps. You can see it right there. He said, you fucking stupid bitch in all caps. No, no, no. He called her a, he called her a faggot bitch. That's what it says right here. It said, he didn't read that. He says, you fucking stupid faggot bitch. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean. You wish you, why, why would he say that to somebody? Now, when you talk, when you text somebody, it, 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 it can be a permanent record. And if you're a public figure like this, you're 42 years old. Why are you doing this? Why? What? 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 Ben? Right, you're four. Not only are you forty-two, but you're one of the most important parts of a very popular show. Like, like, go fuck some twenty-something-year-olds. Go fuck some thirty-something-year-olds, forty-something-year-olds. Go screw some hot milfs in their fifties and sixties. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And if it can come from from doing this to, it, it makes no sense to me so then he's talking to this young lady and he says once you turn 18 you just start cam whoring oh yeah jenny you're right that that that's what women love you know what i'm saying you, you, you gotta let them know you gotta let them know what place they have in society you just start cam whoring And then he told her he why? should start. Why, why would you do that? So then he goes on to say, why are you such jailbait? What's wrong with you in that regard? You should just grow older, you dumb bitch. Now, why would you call, even if you thought somebody was a dumb bitch, honestly, why, why would you use that kind of language? I, you know, I, Well, see, Scott, the difference between like... Uh, Justin Roiland and Andrew Tate, we're not going to see the same type of defense for Justin Roiland as Andrew Tate because Justin didn't have the same type of like appeal to the masses. Like until this shit happened, I mean, who who knew about Justin Roiland? You know, at the end of the day, we live in an, an entertainment culture that's rather superficial. So most people who are front facing are very good looking, in really good shape and have something going on that's like a magnet so for andrew tate cars girls money clubs you know he fits that 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 image but justin roiland does not so like people generally are not we're not going to see the same type of stuff because andrew tate represented and still represents like a path to a path to immortality or a path to like basically what men should be but justin roiland like you know who the fuck is he really until all of this came out? So that that's the difference, which is sad, but that's the difference. And maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just old fashioned and maybe I'm just uh square because I don't call women bitches. You know, I mean, I call some of my golf buddies bitches, you know, I mean, kidding around, but I, but women don't need, to, need that. Is it cool being jailbait? Does the FBI follow you around? Arresting all the men you sleep with. What the fuck? This is just, a, this is a really <coughs> screwed up conversation. Maybe I will. I want to meet you in real life, Jailbait, so I can't help not be a homo. What? I'm Atlanta drunk. Texting. That's a problem. That's a big problem. And so the minute you see, you know, they tell you the age and you continue the conversation, you're breaking the law. Period. You're soliciting a minor. So when you when you have when you have this high profile position, you can't be drunk and careless. And and that's what that was. My point number one is keep your fucking hands off a woman. You, there's no, there is absolutely no reason to hit a woman. Period. Uh, you know, there's other. You know, walk away. Walk away. Walk away. And any guys that say, oh, there's a situation where, you know, dirt, 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 you know, shut the fuck up. They, there's just never a situation where you put your hands on a woman. I'm old fashioned. Uh, that's just a hard and fast rule for me. And guys should follow that rule. Because guess what? Even if you are justified, like in self-defense, that kind of stuff, you're going to jail. She's not going to go to jail. Secondly, if you are on the prowl, keep your chicks in within your sphere. Keep them within your age group. You know, you, you don't sit there and uh, and think, oh, my God, she's so hot. She's young. No, 
no, don't do that. Because if they're underage, you are breaking the law, and and it might not even be a real person. It might be a cop. Right. I've, I've had many cases where the cops pose, and there's no defense to it because they tell you what their age are, <coughs> age is. So, and then if you, especially if you're one of these guys that have a higher profile position, especially when you've got a national show and, you know, and now he's canceled, canceled. So he had the world by the balls, pardon the pun, uh, and now, and now it's gone. So my point. Yeah, yeah. Justin Roiland is like totally, totally disgraced. Imagine how he must feel. You know, not that you should have sympathy for him, but like it's just interesting to think, you know, everybody's human. And when you're like, imagine how he must really feel that he, you know, like worked his way to this place. And not only did he throw it all away, but over some shit like this. And and on top of that, the public knows about it. So like this dude, the only chance he would have at public redemption really is in another lifetime. He totally ruined his life. And then again, the, the text that he sent to are just fucking weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, who the hell says shit like this? Not.